It's week 12 of the regular season for Ohio football, the final contest of the regular season. And before Ohio meets the Minutemen of UMass on Friday at Peden Stadium, we made it back out to Donato's on East State Street in Athens. Hi, everybody. I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Ohio Bobcats. We did it Monday night and some Thursday nights throughout the course of the year, the Frank Solid Show on our radio network. And, of course, we sliced up the show, the best parts of the show. We had a great show on Monday night. We visited, of course, with the ninth-year head coach of the Cats and with the first-year head coach of Bobcat women's basketball, Bob Bolden. So, without further ado, here are the best slices of the Solid Shell for week number 12. Broad stroke question. Uh, this is always an end of the year sort of question. Evaluate where the program is now and where the program is going. Well, um, obviously, if you uh, look at it just from wins and losses, you know, this is a little bit of a setback. Um, if we can end up uh, seven and five, that'll be five winning seasons in a row. So, you know, there's still good things happening. Um, and, and obviously, you don't want to, um, to take steps uh, backwards, but, um, you know, I believe we've got a lot of really good players in the system. Um, I, I still believe that this freshman class that we have on campus right now is one of the better classes we've had. The 17 commitments that we have um, right now on next year's class will make that um, an, an excellent um, class. And, um, you know, we're playing a lot of those young players right now. And, um, and so I, I think when you play a lot of young players, sometimes that does hit you a, a little bit. But then uh, the next years seem to, uh, to be able to, you're able to uh, come out of it and, and have good years. So I'm, I'm confident that, that uh, the program is, um, is uh, a, a very good program. It's one that's going to continue to move uh, move forward, and we're going to continue to take uh, take take steps to uh, to make it what we want it to be. And we we were talking during during the break, and and fans are wondering too. Obviously, it hasn't been a great close to the season. If you were to knock off UMass, um, has there ever been a year where, where you could say, you know what, we no, we we don't want it, or or from a benefit standpoint for you, if you knock off UMass. All guns blazing going into the bowl. Would that be a good thing for the program? I'd, I'd like to think that um, that we're not in position to say, no, we don't want to go to a bowl if we have a, a bowl opportunity. Um, I set that one up I, for you. Yeah, you knocked I, I, it out of the park. Yeah, um, I, I, you know, and, and so we'll not even discuss that much further. But, uh, uh, but in, in all actuality, um, going to a bowl game allows you a lot of extra practices which is really um, uh, an advantage you know it's like a, a second spring ball almost in terms of the number of uh, practices that you're able to have leading up to the um, to the bowl game and um, you know it means a lot to your players um, it, it uh, means a lot to recruits that uh, the program is continually going to bowl games and and so uh, anybody that doesn't want to go to a bowl game that's qualified and gets chosen um, ought to probably get out and get in another sport. <laughs> <laughs> what about a nice round of applause for first year head coach Bob Bolden. Congratulations. Why have you been so good out of the gate? Uh, I mean, we have a, we have a very talented uh, roster. We got some very young kids. They've got a, a ton of energy and a lot of excitement for the game. And uh, you know, they're learning daily, but uh, they they play they play really hard and, and have a lot of excitement for playing. Talk about the ability to close games that have been tight this year. Yeah, I thought our kids have done a nice job of hanging in there. You know, we. Because we play so many young kids, there's a lot of ups and downs. And, and freshmen can look really good and really bad within 10, 15 seconds or 10 or 15 minutes. And, and we've had both of those struggles this year. And, and they're learning, and, and they've got a great attitude towards learning. And I think they've made tremendous adjustments. I've been very impressed with the adjustments they've been able to make throughout the game. And like you said, their ability to finish games. Talk about what the senior class has meant to you and all that they've done. Well, they've been uh, obviously special to me. and, and um, you know, they, they were a class that um, are, we, we were able to recruit and, and um, uh, obviously have a system change uh, during their time in terms of what we were all about offensively. And, and so we threw that at them and they adjusted to that uh, very, very well and, and have, have, you know, won a ton of football games and have um, done a lot in terms of promoting Ohio. You know, we've been on TV uh, a ton during... Uh, those five years, um, national TV, where you know alumni around the country have been able to see us play and and you know win enough games to take pride in um, in in what was going on and 
and um, you know they're uh, they're somewhat responsible for the uh, indoor facility being able to go up because uh, obviously um, uh, the donations came in um, in regards to that as far as uh, them doing the right things on the field, uh, but also off the field, and and just being a, a great group. And so they've been uh, they've helped us enhance the the facilities at um, at Ohio, given uh, Ohio uh, a great image out out there for those that uh, followed uh, college football. And and uh, so those kind of things, you know, you you really appreciate. And sometimes they're they're kind of the hidden things that um, that go out the door with them, but. Uh, but they, they've been super to uh, work with and been a great group of guys. Our radio network airtime comes at 1 o'clock with a kick at 2 on Friday at Peden Stadium. The ball game's also on ESPN3. It's the Bobcats of Ohio and the UMass Minutemen. We'll talk to you at Peden Stadium. That's a solid show slice for Tanner Smith and Tony Ermain. I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.